Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. Welcome to the channel again. My name is Julius Ojula Jokea and here in Jokea Services here in Uganda. Today we are going to do something that we have never done as Jokea Services. And guess what guys? We are here in Ngora district in a place called Komodo. I don't know whether Omodo is a town council, okay, Omodo ward or Omodo of Paris because Omo Komodo is within Angora Town Council and this center you're seeing here is Ogonono Center. This is Ogonono Trading Center where we have one of our great teachers who taught us in primary one. I remember when I was in P1, I don't know in 19 what, I think it was in 1996 there, I don't know. <laughs> when I was in P1, there was a teacher by the name of Achetun, that is a teacher we are going to visit today as Jokea Services. He used to do a lot to us when we were in primary one. And there are so many people. I remember when I was in P1 by that time, he was still, he was already old. And we used to call him uh, Mr. Ipolon, Isa Ipolon. But up to now, that Muse is still there. So guys, we are going to celebrate him when He's still alive. I don't want people to celebrate uh, mentors when they go, the day they die, then people come and celebrate. So on 5th October, the World Teachers Days, we really want to celebrate the museum. So this road here takes you to uh, Tungora uh, headquarters, uh, the district headquarters. Uh, then this one here. Of course, takes you to Gonono Trading Center, then you go to Kapi Road, then the other one takes you to Mora Atau. So come with me, guys, as we enter and we talk to Muse. We want to know how is, uh, how is he nowadays. He will tell us the experience, what he did, and all that. Those are the things that we are going to share with Muse today. And we shall be able to celebrate with Muse come 5th October 2024 the World Teachers Day because he's your teacher he's my teacher so let's celebrate you are P1 teacher and we are going to start as your care services we are going to do this So guys, we have reached here, and we are going behind there, I think that is where Jose is. We are doing a surprise with him. I have not talked to him. No, he's behind there. Come with me, guys. Hey, come on. 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 Wow, thank you so much guys. Welcome to the channel once more. My name is Julius Ojula, Jokea Services, Jokea TV. And just like I told you, today we have paid a, a visit to one of our great teachers who taught us those days when I was in P1. That was uh, 1996. That is when I was in primary one and Papa was our teacher there. But by then, what surprises me? By then, we were still calling him uh, Isai Polon yeah. because he, <laughs> even in 1996, he was mm. old. Yes. But he mentored very many people, did a lot to very many people. Yes, Papa, I don't want even to waste time. I know many people that you told have even forgotten you. If you can remind them your name, where you come from, then we continue. My name, officially, I'm known as he. Ketun Okero Charles. That's my name. Yes. Mm. You 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 come from. Which I come I come from Akoroi. Akoroi. Uh, but formerly it was called Komodo. Komodo. Yeah. Hey, it is now called Akoroi. Yes. Okay. Uh, then uh, I see the center here. This uh, is Komodo. I, I think that's 
just near Ogonono Center. Ogonono, uh, <laughs> Ogonono. So Ogonono that is Center. Papa that did a lot to the people outside there. If Papa, if you can tell us your education background, now you started the P1 up to uh, the college level. Uh, so when I you become a teacher? I started P1. My primary education in uh, in Ngora Boys Primary School. Yes. That was 1958. Wow. And that's what I, when I started. Then after that, uh, I sat for, for junior interest. Mm. Uh, at that time, yes. it was junior interest. Yes. Oh, primary living. Primary living. Uh, hey. So after passing my primary living very well, I went to Soroti. Integrated school. Okay. That is where uh, I spent my junior education. Yes. Junior one and uh, junior two. That was 1964 to 65. Yes. And that's 1964 to 1965. Wow. Then after passing from there, I joined our high school. Hey, uh, secondary. Uh, for my secondary education. Okay. Uh, from 1966 to 1969. Yes. Uh, after passing from there, I went to uh, Mbale Senior Secondary School mm. for my higher school certificate. Yes. Uh, so from there, I did not do very well because of my health. Yes. And there was uh, some illness that affected me. So I could not continue up to university, university. level. So from there, after that, I came back home. And spent some time. And then in 1973, 19, I started uh, my journey as a teacher. As a teacher. Wow. Without any training. Hey. <laughs> yes. Yes. So I told you. Uh, there was his club actually there. I uh, opened that uh, at Aterai. Towards Aterai. There was a, a private school there. Yes. A girls' girl senior secondary school. Hey, it was a senior secondary school. Yes. Hey, so you started from secondary? Yes. Oh my god. Uh, so <laughs> uh, I told you there. Yes. That was 1973. Up to seven, seven, uh, seven, five, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, I can remember very well. Uh, so when that school collapsed, mm -hmm. I came back home. Then again, uh, I went later again to uh, Soroti Erimu College. Yeah. 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 That was 1960. That was 1970 is there. Mm. Uh, mm. So I went to, to that to school. To teach? Yes, okay. again teaching. Mm. That's that, what I was told. Uh, that the was college was uh, the first private school to be put in. So. There. Uh, hey. uh, wow. So I taught it there. Then uh, from there, I was, uh, I was sent to, to, to Maraca College, to reopen Maraca College. Hey. Uh, so from there, I taught Maraca College from 1984 80, 80, 80, 80, to 85. I was there at Maraca College. Yeah. So during that time, 80, 80 there, 85, 86 there, you know there was a insurgency. insurgency Again, I was thrown back. After that, Maraca College, we opened the, the school at, the, at, at Bubu here, Bubu. Uh, okay. where there is a, a police now, hey, that club. Hey, yes. uh, there that was, was a case of private school there. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, we started teaching that, that, that was, a, I think it was a 1986 uh, there. Of course, then uh, the insurgents uh, broke up. Mm. So that school will not be continued. Okay. So we again discontinued. Uh, so 
So after that, uh, of course, uh, war came. Mm. So I stayed there for at home. Of course, he's facing all the all the troubles yes. with the rebels, with the with the soldiers, mm. and with the Karamojong. Mm. So the, there was almost a, no progress at that time. Yes. Mm, no progress at that time. So it was a, in 1992 when I got a, another chance. Now, not to join a senior secondary school, to teach in a senior secondary school, but to teach in what? Primary. A primary school now. Uh, mm. That is how I came to, do, to, to become a primary teacher. I started primary teacher. teaching. From secondary? Uh, wow. I dropped to. Primary. Yes. This time it was a Agri primary school. Where hey, started my... You started from Agri Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, wow, so people from Agri if you know they that. They know me <laughs> very well. They know me very ah. well, of course. Yes, I, I was experienced from Agri uh, So Agri you were teaching it, which classes? I was teaching. There was also P7. P7, okay. Uh, I was teaching actually P, P7. Yes. There in, in, in Agri Wow. That, that was 1992. 1992. To 1993 there. Okay. So from 1993, mm. we then got a chance to go and be trained as a primary teacher. Teacher now. Hey. Wow. <laughs> so I joined the Mora Bishop Teaching College. BKC. BKC, yeah. Hey, okay. I said, Great now. B being trained as a graduate city. Okay. By that time it was a Jackson or Jackson was the was the prince. Yes. A very hard working man. <laughs> uh -huh. yes. So there <coughs> of course after after training, we completed training in nineteen ninety five there. Yes. When the results came I hope to go back to Akin, mm. but conditions didn't happen. Hey. Uh, so this time I got a chance to go to uh, to be posted to Orisai, Orisai now. Primary School. I, I, I think what I was telling people outside hey. there is now true. Hey. <laughs> because uh, in 1996, uh -huh. 90, I think 1997 is uh -huh. when I was in P1. Yes. Hey. Hey. Oh, yeah. So in Orisai? So, <laughs> Well, when I went to Orisai, mm. of course, he, he, then he became, that was a college of specialization. Yes, yes. I specialized in early child education. Hey. Hey, I specialized in early child education, ECE. Wow. E. Yes. And that was my, my specialization. Mm. So from there now, Orisai, you, you, you taught for how many years? Orisai, from that time, up to the time I retired in 2009. Hey, you retired from yes. this? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so I, 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 think I was people... handling primary one. one. <laughs> Members, for you who were not there, yeah. me what I know, yeah. by then, you know, nowadays, by the way, male teachers fear to teach P1 yeah. and nursery. You will not get them there. They're yeah. only in the upper classes. Yeah. But hey, what I can I remember those days, hey. I'm going to talk about it, then okay. Paul also talk okay, about okay, it. Okay, okay. We used to defecate. We used to, because these young, young children of five years, what, no, no nursery, uh -huh. and is the one who used to clean us. It was not easy. To bathe. Yeah, to bathe. <laughs> <laughs> so please, members from Orissa, if you know that Papa taught you, please, I think it is time for us to celebrate him when he's still alive. This year, Every year we celebrate World, uh, World Teachers Day. That is 5th October every year. Yes. So this year we feel like to celebrate with you. I want to call upon, I want to urge to all my friends outside there that Papa took. They are those ones from secondary schools. He has talked about those schools. Um, the Rims College, uh, Maraca, uh, Maraca College. College. Then, uh, Mora Rapid Results Mora College. Rapid Results College. Yeah. You get? Yeah. Then coming to primary, those ones from Agricroy, <laughs> you know yourselves. Now, after retirement, did you go to other private schools? Yes. Hey, when did you retire? I started 2009. I joined the uh, 
Totasio Primary School. Yes. Mm. And I taught it there up to about to, to 2017. I think that 2016 there. Okay. Uh, so I left to that school. So Totasio. But then it was a Musa Inyalio. Inyalio, yes. Inyalio, yes. Mm. He was the director. Okay. And I, I think up to now. He's still the director. <laughs> he's still the director. Yeah. Big ups to Mr. Inyalio, they are the director of Totasio. This is our great teacher who has brought a lot of people. And we are going to celebrate him that day, come 5th October 2024. And we want you to be there. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Now after there, after after Tetasio, I joined the Ngora Junior School. Okay. Uh, 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 that is Inspector's School, yeah, the Inspector's Regional school. Inspector. Yes. <laughs> uh, Mr. Okay. Kroll. Mr. Kroll. Mr. Kroll. John Roberts' School. Okay. Uh, mm. So I told you there, up to the time when he, uh, this uh, COVID broke, broke up. Broke up. Mm. Okay. So, so from that time, I came back home. Mm. And I'm now at the home. Wow. So guys, yeah. I hope you've seen so that experience, that how Papa how started teaching yeah. up to at this level and now retired from a private school called Ngora Junior here in Ngora Town, Council Ngora Town there. And Papa did a lot and there are so many people, I can't even count them, thousands I believe of people passed through his hands because I remember by those days, even private schools were few, there and were, a class you, would, very you could have like uh, 200. <laughs> ah, for, for example, at Maraca College, yes, more than 100 ah. students <laughs> a class, wow, even wow. at uh, this uh, Rims College. Rims College, more than that, wow, wow. 150 something. Wow. Please, <laughs> we really need to recognize your teacher, recognize your teacher, and we celebrate him that day, come, uh, come 5th October 2024, 20, this very year. We shall update you where we are going to celebrate, where we are going to be, but you must be there and we see what to do. So what are the challenges now you are having after retirement? After retirement? Of course, after retirement, the challenge, the, the, the most important challenge is almost, almost no income. Yes. No income. Because I'm, I'm not a, again employed anywhere. Yes. Uh, even the plot I'm having is very little. Very, little. Uh, very small plot. Mm. So there's almost, almost no even agricultural product. Nothing. There's just nothing I produce. So I'm just there. Uh, Papa, I believe there are so many lack of settlement. Yes. No, you can see me in my house. Sure. Grass is touched. Not even <laughs> with the grass. Grass is touched. So this is uh, my challenge. Okay. Wow. So yes, uh, that poverty is there. Family is there. Yes, <laughs> for sure. Wow. So guys, outside there. Dressing is dressing there. It's a problem. It's a problem. He's now not employed. employed. He's your teacher, <laughs> your mentor. You are there with And the, the most important challenge, I'm now almost blind. Hey. In fact, I'm partially blind. You see, my eyes are not even seen. Blindness. Please members, leave a comment in the comment section. What are you telling us about the journey of Papa Achetun Okelo from the time he started teaching, he started from secondary, then went back and started teaching primary. That was in 1992 when he started primary up to the time he retired during COVID. So uh, that was 2000. Uh, he retired in 2009 first, then now joined to private sector um, where uh, up to 2018, 18. Uh, wow uh, i think 19 is when uh, covid broke up yes so guys i i believe this is so interesting but the other part is that you passed through the hands of papa very many of us not only me 
very many of us. That's why your care services say no. We need to celebrate people who made us who we are today. You're there in that office because of teachers like our Papa. So we want you to do us a favor. Some are soldiers. We have soldiers. Some are doctors. So many, I, I don't know. Lawyers, <laughs> journalists like yes. me. Yes. There are so many teachers. Yes. I know you have very many teachers that yes. you produce. Yes. So please, members, you need to join us and we see how to celebrate Papa come next month. It will be just next month, on, uh, 5th. Uh, October 2024. You're going to choose what you're going to do for Papa that day, but we need to gather you and we are going, I, I, I think I need Papa to choose where we are going to be. Whether we be in Agregroy, or we be in Risai, or we be in Vienna, where where do you want us Papa to be that day? I think Orisai is uh, Orisai. Well, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so let's celebrate this in Orisai Primary School on 5th October 2024 just next month let's celebrate with the papa come with what you can